here are the 24 biggest mistakes you want to avoid with your Wix website. All right, and number seven is gonna surprise you. Hi, my name is Cedric Harris, and today I'm gonna to go over step by step a multitude of different mistakes that can happen with a website. Now, this can happen to anybody, but I'm gonna lay them out for you one by one. Now, the first thing is that most people don't realize, but let me show you something. Most people don't realize that a lot of your browsing is gonna come from your phone. That's right, it's not gonna come from your desktop, it's gonna come from your phone. If you do Facebook marketing or any type of marketing, you know that mobile traffic is prevalent and it's out there and it's coming. So the biggest mistake by far that you can make is not having a mobile version of your site. And often this is neglected because most people design on a desktop computer like I'm talking to you now. But your mobile is important. So I'm using Wix.com right now. And Wix actually does a mobile version of all your sites automatically. And it actually looks really good. All you have to do is go to the top and go to desktop and mobile. So that's the biggest mistake. And I've got 24, 23 other ones ready for you. So let's jump in. So another one is having a mobile header that's too big. So as you can see, this one's really small. But the reason why it's so small is that I've made it that small. Most headers are going to look like that. And that is not great. It's not great for anybody. And I want you to have a good website. So let's keep that real small, really as small as you can, because it doesn't really have anything else. The third biggest mistake people make is not having a call to action. So let's switch back to desktop mode, just in Wix now. Now, whether you have a this editor, but something like get quotes now, you want something that people can click on that's immediately visible to people. This is so important because it's gonna most of your traffic is gonna land on here and if you're not telling them to do something you're wasting that traffic so not having a call to action that's number three number four is not having any information about you you just want to have a little bit of an about section the fifth biggest thing is not having a map of where you're located so whether that means you don't have a contact page now on some some of the other websites I've designed I've made clear sort of contact me pages where you sort of can learn about the business and having a map really helps. No email subscription as well. This is having a small, you know, pop-up or even just a small part on your website that shows, hey, you can get, um, you can get, uh, you can sign up to our email here. And why? Because I've done a few tests and trust me, it's really valuable to have a high quality email list. It's an asset that if you're ever selling your business, you can use that to sell it. So anything like here, is quite useful for you so just make sure you have some sort of uh, email functionality number seven is nap not having a name address telephone number so again you can get that just right at the bottom just add that in your name address telephone number email broken links is number eight number eight is if you have any links that don't work that is very that's a poor user experience or ux and you want to fix that ASAP. There's a few tools you can use if you Google broken link checker and they can search through your whole website and find that for you. Number nine is having a slow website. Now there's a tool called Pingdom Tools and you can sort of go see like how fast websites are by just typing in your website here and starting the test. That'll tell you exactly how fast it is. And if it's anything over, I would say three seconds, then you're going to want to reevaluate how fast your website is. If you're using a WordPress site, then I recommend to uh, check the plugins. If you're using a Wix website, the biggest thing that happens with Wix website is that the image is too big. Now that could be a big problem. So all you have to do is download the images, compress them using Photoshop or an online tool, re-upload them and then use those images and you'll be all set and you'll have a very fast website. Okay, that's number nine. Number 10 is poor navigational header. Now what do I mean about this? Now there's a bunch of websites that don't have a clear header like this, home contact, free consultation about shop, you know, it's very straightforward. I have everything I want there. But what you don't get is some people who don't have a header or don't know where to go. And this is fine if it's a sales page, but generally you want to make sure you have a very clear and easy to define header. 
number 11 is having too many fonts too many fonts now i love fonts don't get me wrong I, you know Montserrat to uh garibond to you know i think we all have our favorite fonts but trust me you don't want to go all hipster and have 20 different fonts in there because it's not going to look good it's not going to look good for anybody so i recommend stick with your a few fonts really for your brand for your website you want to have the font that people recognize this font with this company and that's going to do a great job of really just putting those two you know that font and your company together in one mind so don't use too many fonts that's number 11. number 12 okay Number 12 is not having any social links. So you can see at the bottom here, there's a social bar. With Wix, it's really easy to do. You go to add, uh, then you go to social, and you just drag and drop these social links in and then adjust the links. That's it, that's all you need to do. So I highly recommend it because it lets your followers know where they can find you on social media. And that's incredibly important and you'll find it really useful, I think. Number 13 is no logo PNG. Now that's an interesting one. So if you have a logo, so for instance, at Power Level Studios, another website, we uh, we have this logo. Now you wanna make sure that the alt code, so you can go to settings, and you can have add Power Level Studios, and that way, what you can ensure is that when people search your company, they can find the logo and then talk about you in the press by using your logo because then it's going to show up in Google Images. And that's a huge help when it comes to, you know, being talked about either on social media or, you know, in traditional publishing. So you want to make sure that's there. Number 14 is not having a blog. Now, what's the point of having a blog? The biggest reason why people really recommend having a blog is for this it's so that you can do seo um blogs let you help write about posts that can rank in google so say if you're doing consulting about virtual reality you can talk about here are the 10 best virtual reality examples for marketing then when people search virtual reality for marketing they'll find your post and trust me you're going to feel amazing when you get all this traffic on your website regularly from your seo post and it's because you had a blog so that's why at number 14 is you have you need to have a blog and especially if you have an seo strategy so number 15 this has to do more with blogs is you want to have internal links so on, on one blog post you want to link to other blog posts in this way two reasons for that one is for proper seo so you can sort of attribute all the links second one is so you can increase the average dwell time of your user so they might be reading this post about you know starting now don't be lazy and then they might see a link and they might go to another one of your posts and suddenly it's five hours later they have and they're they're just down the rabbit hole of your website and that's your ideal dream because it shows google that you have very high engagement and they're going to likely recommend more people to come to your website so really you want to have some internal links in there uh the next thing is uh, google analytics now google analytics is super important and let me just show you briefly what mine looks like uh, because this is my go-to place whenever I want to check the status of my website or if I'm launching any paid marketing strategies, I want to know how many users from Facebook do we have right now. And my favorite one is once you have Google Analytics set up, you can see the real-time users. So we have 216 people on all these different pages. Now that's really useful for me and I highly recommend. And if you get Wix Pro, it's really easy to set up. Uh, you have Google Analytics. If you search through the site editor and everything, you can find it just like that. Uh, it only works for uh, upgrades, yeah. But once you upgrade, I definitely recommend get Google Analytics so you can see exactly when people cut onto your website. Number 17 is low quality pixelated pictures. Now this, nothing hurts. Nothing says you're an old fashioned website, like having a picture with seven, like that's very pixelated and blurry. Usually what happens is that people will download a thumbnail of a picture and then they'll expand it out onto their website and use it as the main hero image and then it looks awful. So please, if you're using Wix, uh, what I love about Wix is that you just have images 
and you can use free from Wix, a free from Wix art, and they're all high quality optimized pictures that you can use on your website. So if we want to get the flamingo close up here, just put it on. You can see that it matches our other flamingos, clearly, because who doesn't love a good flamingo? And it it's it's not blurry. It's very crisp and focused. And that's exactly the image you want to show to your customers, to your visitors, and to the people on your website. So number 17, do not have low pixelated pictures. Got that? All right, number 18, don't have ads. Now, obviously, most websites, you're not going to have this problem yet. Rather, uh, you're going to have ads when... Uh, you use Wix for free. So all you have to do is we have a bond below. If you don't have Wix account, you can get one. But basically, you don't want to have these ads on your website when you're showing them to your audience. So with that in mind, just upgrade and it automatically removes all ads. If you're using another platform, I definitely recommend it. So number 19 following up on ads is you want to have uh, now bear with me here. You want to have a great domain. So on Wix, you can just click publish in the top right corner. That gives you what your site looks like, the URL. And you can see my URL doesn't look you know, exactly professional. It doesn't say google.com. Rather, it says cedricyard.wixsite.com slash MVP dash site. Now, that doesn't exactly roll off the tip of your tongue now, does it? But what it can do for you is Wix makes it really easy for you to change this. In fact, this is a website I built for a client. And as you can see, it doesn't have that Wix uh, URL slug before it. So all you have to do is when you upgrade, you can either get a free domain or you can connect your GoDaddy or Namecheap domain to Wix by just changing your name servers. It's really easy to do. But again, if you're making a website, the 19th biggest mistake you can make is not having a great domain. Number 20, all right, number 20 is about readability. It's about user experience because number 20 is about having bad fonts. Now, what do I mean by bad fonts? So um, I first learned about this a couple of years ago when I had uh, I was working in a disabilities office and uh, a researcher came in and he told me, I see he says he sees this all the time, but you have fonts that are too thin, like apple.com thin, and you can't read them. Now, I've actually made this mistake on the website to show you that you can see ambition is the first step towards. Now, you can read it out because the contrast is quite high, but what you'll notice is that it's not as easy to write, eat, read as my stunning website. That's easy to read. You see that right away, don't you? but you don't exactly see ambition is the first step towards. So a uh, rule of thumb is try to avoid these, uh, these skinny thought, these skinny and very small font sizes if you can, because it makes it really hard to read. So you want to have fonts that are readable, and this is especially true across your website. Now, that's about it for number 20. There's, I have four more mistakes that you want to avoid. So number 21 is not having a brand description. Now, what do I mean by that? Here it is. A lot of uh, users, you see Arrow. So Arrow could be anything, but in this case, it's a web design company that I've just created you know, for this video for you but I say web design below it now a lot of people just say the brand company the just say the company without saying what what it is and this little subheading is a perfect way for you to get the, the simple message across of what your business is most people neglect this don't make that mistake just have a small subheading uh, number 22 three more mistakes uh, having music playing I mean, I'm pretty sure nobody does this, but I thought I'd just put it on there. So we're covering all our bases. Don't have music playing. You know, you can do it with Wix, but I highly do not recommend it whatsoever. Um, number 23, this one is a bit debatable and I will give you that depending on the context, but it's not having exit modal pop-ups. Uh, now, you know, these is that when you're trying to navigate away from a site, it's going to pop up saying, oh, before you go, get this 20% off coupon. Now, as a user, you might not like that. But as um, someone who does a lot of marketing like myself, I've known from multiple, multiple A-B tests that they work. On average, you get about a 5% uplift. 
and uh, it will annoy about you know 10 to 20 percent of your audience. However, usually our theory is that audience will never return to your website and they will have no further interaction with you. So it the, the cost isn't that high and we usually say that it's worth it from a conversion point of view. But if you are a very, very reputable brand, you know, like apple.com, then it might not be the best for you. However, usually if you're starting out, you want to, you, you want to start, you know, getting results and we recommend it to have exit modals. You can easily add it up. Um, you can add it very easily within Wix. Now it's in the sidebar and it's called Lightbox. And you can have one of these things that says join our mailing list and you can have it say, you can have a five second delay and uh, that's it. Yeah, now it works actually. So really you just add the light box and it'll work after 11 seconds. You can have it on exit intent or just when you're staying there. I highly recommend it because really if you want to start building a list, it's something that you're going to want to do. Finally, number 24, not doing SEO for your website. Uh, SEO is probably the easiest traffic you'll ever get. Here you can see getting found online, Google friendly. I highly recommend you do this. Uh, basically, there's a few tutorials, but ba it comes down to having a great meta description. Within the parameters of Wix, you can easily make a meta description. This meta description is crucial if you want to have a great site. So, not SEOing your website though in general is a big mistake because you want to be found on Google and for related keywords as well. And that's why it's important to have a blog, which is something we mentioned in number 14. So here we go. I'm going to quickly recap the 24 biggest mistakes that you want to avoid. You ready? One, not having a mobile version. Two, not have, having a mobile header that's too big. Three, no call to action. Four, no about section. Five, no map. Six, no email subscription. Seven, no name, address, telephone number, email. Eight, broken links. Nine, slow websites. Ten, poor navigational header. Eleven, too many fonts. Twelve, too many social networks. 13, no logo, 14, no blog, 15, no internal pages, uh, 16, no Google Analytics, 17, low quality pixelated pictures, 18, having ads on your website, 19, bad domain name, 20, unreadable fonts, 21, no brand description, 22, no music, having music playing, 23, using exit and not using exit and 10 pop-ups, and 24, not using SEO on your website. Those are the 24 biggest mistakes you can make on your website. I hope I've covered everything for you. If you're happy, if you if you like the video, do subscribe and comment which was uh, the biggest mistake you recommend people to avoid in the description below. And do subscribe and watch our other videos. I have stuff, I have the nine best tips on how to make your e-commerce store on Wix a success. And um, we have other videos coming up that you'll see right now. So subscribe and we'll see you in the next video.